What a perfect surprise for my wife. <laughs> Nikki, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Nikki. Thank you, everyone. Well, each year Sydney puts on a spectacular light show as part of the Vivid Festival in Sydney. Our Intel has stepped up to a whole new level with their real sense technology. And if you like a bit of fun, Mike Downing joins us this morning so we can have a bit of a play with this very clever new technology. Mike, welcome. Hi. What exactly are you doing with us today? Okay, so I'm here to talk about a new piece of technology that Intel have launched in Australia. Um, this is called Intel RealSense technology. Now, what's so unique about this technology is the fact that this computer right in front of me can see the world in the same way that we can in 3D. Oh. So yesterday's computers could only see the world as a flat image in 2D. This one can see the world in 3. The idea behind the technology is to allow Intel and users like yourselves and myself to interact with our computers in a more natural way without even touching them. So on a day-to-day -day basis, we are used to typing in um, our usernames and passwords and touching our screens mm. to navigate around our computers. With Intel RealSense, we don't have to touch our computers anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Oh, wow. So this is an idea, this oh, wow. is an example of 3D scanning. So this camera um, has an array of cameras, so multiple cameras, and it's all in the bezel of this computer, so tiny, tiny mm. technology. Now what I can do is I can put my face closer to the screen and as you can see here it's asking me to hold still. Now I can move to the right and it's getting the left hand side of my face and I'm scanning. So it's taking photos of your face yeah, from every so the angle. Yeah, so the whole of my face, a 3D model of my Ooh. face. And what can you get wrinkles, get rid of wrinkles if you... <laughs> <laughs> I can try and edit them out later. Okay. okay cool. So then what happens? What do you do then? So what I'm doing now is I can then import this 3D model of my face into an avatar or a figurine. Mm. Oh. Now, where that gets really exciting is I can use it for gaming and play as myself if I wanted to online, but I can also do a 3D print of myself wow. if I really want wanted to. What would you need that for? So... <laughs> <laughs> to show off. Okay. Just so, asking. <laughs> so maybe take yourself out the picture. What we can do is we can take 3D images of objects mm. so we can go away and, and replicate those objects using a 3D printer if we wanted to. Mm. Wow. Now it doesn't just stop there. We can also use our face as passwords. So we're used to every day logging onto our computers wow. using our username and passwords. Not anymore. Our system is very secure, so when we sit down in front of our computers, our tablets, and even our smartphones, they instantly recognize us and know who we are. So can everyone use it? Yes. I'm not very tech-friendly, so this would need to get whatever all, that thing is. All of our applications are made for everyone. It's really easy to understand. Out the box, you buy a computer. Later on this year, or potentially even early next year, you'll start to see these things come mm. to market. Mm. And wow. it works straight out of the box. That's fantastic. It's fantastic, isn't it? it yeah, really well, we is. had our faces yeah. taken this morning, didn't mm. we? Our yeah. photos yeah. taken. What did you do with us? I'll see if I can print out our heads. For you, but... <laughs> You're all taking our heads. I was hoping you would turn me into a cat or something. So who wants to go first? Let's see, Sarah. Do you look? What is she going to be? So if you like, I... <laughs> oh, are you a sir? I can a make her. Are you a snowboarder as I'm well? I'm going to try and make her a princess if I can. Oh, oh. my God. Oh, Sarah, oh. the princess. <laughs> I say. Oh Look God. at that. Oh, so there you go, that's a 3D model of yourself. <laughs> we need a smile though, princess. Yeah, it's important that you smile on these demonstrations, actually, but you it's okay. You didn't tell me that at the time. <laughs> wow. No Can way. I be a princess too, or a cat? <laughs> or a unicorn? Can you make me a unicorn? Ask me this a number of times. I can't make you a cat. Oh, no. One day, could you make me a cat? <laughs> One day, I'll okay. make you a cat. Okay. But yeah, we're, yes. we're demonstrating all this technology at, at Vivid. Um, mm -hmm. So we're down there now in Martin Place <gasps> until the 8th of June. So I'm June. a princess too. Mm -hmm. Did I smile? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> How cool is that? You know, I've actually read, Mike, that, um, that the technology one day will get to the point where we can shop online mm -hmm. and instead of having our product sent to us, you just hit print and your pair of jeans or your shoes or whatever then just appears in your home. How yeah. could that be, Jess? Oh, no. How? Wow! <laughs> I mean, I can't stop saying wow. Well, like you can get your head around that. Yeah. yeah, pretty amazing. That is extraordinary. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my like my wave. Thank you very much. No worries. Uh, Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Well, that is part of the Vivid Festival in Sydney. You can find out more by heading to the Vivid.